Hi everyone, Chayam and I will talk about the electric system in hotel industry. But first things first, why do we need to know about this? Well, the possible answer is for us to be aware how building operators and energy hotel managers manage the electric system within the hotel industry. So, without further ado, JM will give us a brief definition of the electric system. Thank you, Mohi, for the introduction. Uh, hi, guys. My name is John. And electrical systems in a hotel operates 24-7. And they are the most costly and widely used energy source within the industry. However, how do hotels manage their electricity? According to an article, avoiding downtime is a top priority. They need to reduce energy use and peak demand. Protect against grid disturbances anticipate power distribution problems and detect equipment issues all while ensuring a safe and reliable electrical distribution system that's right jm electrical system might be the most costly um hotel operating expenses but this is also the most important in a hotel so we will not just present to you the concept uh, the the brief definition of the electrical system, we will also show you the conceptual diagram of electric system in the hotel industry, which is one of the most important things to consider so that building operators have a safe and efficient electrical system, electrical supply system. First diagram shows us the power sources. This is a device that converts other, converts other forms of energy into electrical in energy. The power source is based on the principle of magnetic which generates electricity from near renewable energy such as water, wind, sea tide, dam water pressure difference, solar energy, and burning coal and oil residue. The next um, diagram shows us the Power distribution system. A distribution substation is located near or inside a city, town, village, industrial area. It receives power from a transmission network. The high voltage from the transmission line is the step down by a step step down by a step down transformer to the primary distribution level voltage. So, a typical power distribution system consists of uh, distribution substation, feathers, distribution transformers, distribution conductors, service main conductors. Uh, and also, we need to know about the equipment control devices. It is the fundamental part of the sport and includes the rules that govern the boat the equipment used on board as well as personal equipment that may be carried and how this is to be inspected and controlled. And the kinds of equipment is machines, technology, or tools that need energy to work. For example, all of the electrical uh, tools that we need, uh, different uh, machines that need gas and fuels, if they have a solar solar panel in there, we could uh, put them around uh, anywhere that it reaches the sun. So, all right. So let's move on to the next slide, which is the benefits of electric system. So we cited here that the electric system could benefit. Um, we might benefit from electric system since it provides safety, reliability, and comfort to guests and staff. Comfort to guests, well, when you are in a hotel, you have to relax, you need to uh, have a peaceful mind with the use of energy, like turning off the uh, TV, the air condition, using their internet, that is that is the uh, that is really uh, connected to the electric system. While on the staff, the, their work will be convenient since they will use equipment that needs electric. And the other benefits is it increase operational and energy efficiency 
for reducing uh, operating expenses. And it reduced uh, ca capital expense to extend life of equipment and the other of and the overall installation. Now we are talking about the energy consuming in hotels, which is the heating. Uh, it is uh, a lot of energy to consume because. Uh, Heat is, uh, we know that heat is uh, energy consumer because uh, some of our equipments uh, suck up heat and converts it to like our air conditioning and ventilation. And also energy consumer is water. Of course, if we need to take a bath on a winter, we don't need uh, cold water, right? Because our body uh, could not uh, like take the cold, which may lead to hypothermia. We don't need, uh, we don't want to uh, experience that. And also lighting, uh, I think, Lighting is the most important in a uh, hotel, our houses, household, because if we don't have light, uh, I think we can't uh, survive. And uh, the electric electricity, a uh, huge uh, necessity, and also it is a uh, huge consume in uh hotels utilities which is like i think electricity is like the uh a huge uh kick on the face of the management because all of the guests used it and lastly cooking of course uh in a uh, restaurant for example uh on the back of the house which is the cooking area they don't stop until the restaurant closes so they use a lot of energy lots of gas to cook lots of uh, mm, resources that they uh, use to make our meals uh, and also uh, preventive maintenance focuses on inspecting hotel systems and facilities such as the air conditioning the plumbing heating lighting on a regular basis in order to prevent unexpected scenarios and the other uh, maintenance for electric system is the insulators supports and connectors it is the inspect insulators and conductor supports for signs of cracking broken pieces and other phys physical damage or deterioration. Insulation remove the clean, remove and clean interface barriers, clean all insulating materials with vacuum and or clean lint free rugs. Operating mecha uh, mechanism inspect for loose, broken, worn, or missing parts, consult manufacturers schematics for required parts. Now let's talk about the predictive maintenance. It is the maintenance that determines the condition of in service equipment in order to estimate. Yes, estimate when maintenance should be performed. So when we are looking at the things that uh, we think that needs some attention, we will uh, put some main maintenance or like an action to uh, solve the problem that we forecasted that it will happen when we do not uh, put an action to that. So we must prevent it like the preventive maintenance and predictive maintenance. So we need to put those two together in order for us to avoid causing any problems. And lastly, we will talk about the energy management savings, which is the smart climate control, air source heat pumps, smart lighting technology, solar panel technology, automatic shutdown sockets, predictive monitoring. So all of these 
um, are part of um, energy management savings, which is very helpful since all of the uh, since it is um, IoT or Internet of Things nowadays. And now the conclusion of the electric system is a uh, hotel uh, always uses uh, electricity every day uh, 24/7 uh, we it is unusual that we don't uh, they don't uh, need electricity in a hotel and facility should ensure that electricity is running smooth uh, of course uh, if the electricity is not running smooth, uh, it could be a problem for the guest and also a big problem for the hotel. And in addition for conclusion, aside from what JM told us, um, there are many ways to save electricity. Since we are on internet of things to nowadays, there is a lot of um, alternative uh, technologies, equipments, and things that can help us um, save the electricity and manage it well. And lastly, maintenance is a must because equipments and electric equipments that are broken or if we ignore them, they're gonna waste our electricity. Uh, hi guys, uh, I hope you like our video. Nori and I uh, put a lot of effort on this uh, project so uh, thank you very much for watching and have a good day ahead. Thank you. Hi guys, uh, this is uh, some of the reference that we use in order to complete this video. And you can uh, visit them anytime if you want. Thank you.